my frugal friends, and welcome to Pumpkin Week. We are going to kick off this week with step number one in making all things pumpkin and pumpkin spice for the holidays, and that is cooking your pumpkins. Now, I grew all of these in my garden this year. They've been out as decoration for Halloween, and now it is time to cook them up and make delicious morsels for my family to eat. So I'm gonna use my trusty Instant Pot, hack them in half, and throw them in for a little while, and that's how I'm gonna roast them this year because it's way, way faster and easier than trying to deal with the oven. So let's get started. pot sit for about 20 minutes after it beeps so you're looking at a total of 40 minutes but it's pretty hands-off <laughs> I wear a glove because it's really really hot you can just let it sit like this for a bit and normally I would but I'm just gonna show you so it kind of breaks apart really nicely so this piece just broke off so here's a nice piece I can get out and I just get a spoon and like it just falls apart right so you just get a bowl, scoop out the flesh into your bowl, and then throw away the skin. Clearly I've done a couple of batches already. Once you're done scooping all of the pumpkin flesh from the pumpkin, we are going to incorporate the food processor, one of the best tools in the kitchen. This is just a Ninja brand that comes with a blender thing. And if you need to add a little bit of water to make it smooth, that's okay, but be cautious on the water. You don't want liquidy pumpkin later. All right, that's it. I ended up not needing to add any water to mine. Uh, it blended really nicely. I have quite a few containers, this one and this one and this one of all the pumpkins that I started with today, but we're gonna need it all to make all of the pumpkin goodies for the rest of the week. The best part about doing pumpkin yourself like this is first it tastes really, really good, a lot better than that canned stuff that you buy. Second, you can freeze it and it'll last for as long as you need to wait before you're ready to make stuff with it. This is how I like to prep my pumpkin and I'll see you guys next time for our first goodie we're gonna be making together, pumpkin bread. It's amazing. I'll see you then.